Hello everybody, it's Mick from Jester Bushcraft and I've got an update for you today on the uh, solar garage project. Got a few new additional items. Um, I think you've seen this before. I've just got the three-way uh, auxiliary point there which is plugged into my 12 volt supply there. And I've got my little uh, LED torch that's just constantly on charge. Um, so always there if I need it. Really bright, powerful torch that. It's really handy. And I can also use that in the car as well. Um, but a new item I've got here is the watt meter. And you can see there in the bottom right hand corner that's monitoring the uh, watts that's coming from the solar panel. And above that is the voltage that's coming from the solar panel. And then the bottom left reading, as you can see it's just scrolling through that's the peak ampage um, the one I'm interested in is that one that's the peak watch is 32 watts uh, that was yesterday I managed to get 32 watts out of a 40 watt panel yesterday bearing in mind it's it was the end of January uh, end of December beginning of January uh, that's not too bad so uh, that's just keeping an eye on the solar panel so that's a new addition I've got there and um, the other thing I've got is this which is a soldering iron but it's a 12 volt soldering iron which I just have slotted in there I've got the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket there and I've got it plugged into a extension lead there and that just plugs in at the top there and I've already used it and uh, it works really well it takes slightly longer to heat up than a normal soldering iron but uh, it's working off the solar panel system so uh, that's all good uh, the other new addition is here uh, you can just see there LED rear now that is a light switch which is linked to some uh, lights I've got in the back end of the garage which I will uh, show you in a minute so those are the new additions the watt meter the soldering iron the torch up there which I think you may have already seen and I've got some new lighting as well so what we'll do is we'll go into the back of the garage and I'll show you what I've done in there right okay here we are in the back end of the garage this is my favorite part because this is where all my kit is it's a bit of a mess at the moment because I'm just having a bit of a sort out you can see all my all my rack in there it's got all my boxes and the majority of those boxes are all full of kit whether it be for camping, for bushcrafting, outdoor stuff. So that's all my gear. I'm being Jester Bushcraft. No Jester will be complete without one of those. Who knows, I might do a video with that one day. I'm not a brilliant unicyclist, but I can just about do it. So, uh, so anyway, what have we been doing in the back end? Well, like I said, I've got some new lighting. And if you look up there, you can see there I've got one, two, three, excuse the focus, four and five. I got them off eBay, cost me a fiver for all five. And then the uh, bulbs are, just zoom in a bit, there, they are MR16. LED bulbs, they're only cheapies, they're a pound each but uh, they're sufficient for what I need. Now this isn't meant for permanent lighting, I've already got my fluorescent up there but uh, the idea is if I ever have a power cut I can come in here and I'm going to have sufficient lighting to be able to see what I need if I need to come in and get anything and as luck would have it well, maybe not luck but coincidence being that uh, the other day not long after I'd completed the lighting we had a power cut it was on uh, it was the other day actually and uh, I needed to come in the garage and I was able to put some lighting on and see exactly what I was doing so I'm just going to give you a little demo now so I'll just turn off the main oh, I'll just show you the I've got a switch here look that's the switch I've installed for the LED lighting that just goes up back to the uh, control panel the solar panel sorry the the panel that's through there 
You can just see through there. The panel there. I've got another switch on. Where are we? There. So it's a two-way, two-way lighting system. So I can switch the lights on from that panel, or I can switch the lights on from here. So what I'll do is I'll give you a little demo now to show you how. Just turn these lights off. All right. So that's the main lighting off. And if I can just find the switch. There we go. Now as you can see, it's not as bright, but that is bright enough for me to be able to see my way around the garage and do whatever I need to do. So I'm really pleased with that. So if I ever have a power cut, I know I can come in here and I can uh, get to anything I need once all this is sorted out, whether it be candles or to extra torches or cooking stuff, anything I need can be stored in here. I don't know when we was going to be able to get to it without falling over anything. So there you go. That's my latest update on the solar panel garage project. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.